my gosh, it's actually super nice today. 79 degrees thereabouts. And yesterday was a high of about 55. So, gosh, 25 degrees, is that bad? Yeah. No, it can't be that much. Anyway, it's nice. And instead of editing my videos that I shot yesterday, I decided to come out here and get some more. Oh gosh, where do I want to go today? I'll probably go out to uh, Elk City. It's one of those little dried up towns out here in Kansas. They're not really hard to find. from nearly 80 to 64. 63. <laughs> that dropped kind of quick. Oh, it's so nice. I ordered some new toys for uh, my Garmin Verb camera. I ordered another uh, Ram ball mount. And the plan is to have it mounted down on the engine crash protection bars if they don't vibrate too much, although <laughs> right now it feels like they vibrate a little much. So I might end up actually putting it up on the handlebars. I also ordered a remote for my camera. Uh, unlike the other video cameras out there, the Garmin Verb doesn't come with a remote unless you have one of several different models of newer generation GPS is from Garmin or their watches uh, it's called the Phoenix watch anyway many of Garmin's newer models have Ant Plus technology built into them and you can use them to control the camera but I don't have any of the newer models of Garmin stuff so I had to buy a $50 remote I guess I'm okay with that. It would be nice if it came with the camera, but you know, can't get everything. I also ordered an extra battery, so more video for my longer excursions. I don't believe I've taken that dirt road before. I really hope this is not on time lapse like it was yesterday. When I was much younger, before I ever started driving, uh, my grandparents uh, owned an oil patch. Uh, at least the mineral rights to one. Uh, someone else in the family owned the the land uh, that was actually over it, but my grandparents owned the mineral rights to the oil patch. And they had a few oil derricks. And uh, it was about you know, about three hours drive from where we used to live. We used to go out there a couple times a year just to hang out with my grandparents. And just do sort of redneck stuff around. So these things are pretty familiar to me. It's kind of neat seeing of course, this one's running really freaking slow. It's liquid gold right there. 
Looks like it's bubbling down there quite a bit. So, not exactly leak proof. It's been so long since I've seen these things, I'm not really sure whether that's a, a relatively clean system or not. But that's how it works. That's how that, those kind of work, anyway. Now that is wet. I might have to turn around. Oh, hell no. Sun's way too bright. <laughs> Leave that visor down. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around. That's... I tried that yesterday. There we go. Woo! Uh, I can turn around right there. Hey puppy! Oh, ruh, ruh, ruh. I really didn't want that big 40, 50 pound dog. He probably weighed more jumping out in front of me. I was here just a couple days ago. This is an Elk City. La Fontaine. That's apparently what the GPS says. Where the hell is Elk City? north now. Sounds like a plan. Hey, you know what? The sunset's probably going to be absolutely gorgeous up there. Over close to the lake today. Lucky me. I got my camera. I wonder if I can make it back before it goes down.